Year 12, welcome to half term. Um, February half term in year 12 is a really, really nice holiday because February half term in year 11, you were really, really stressed and revising for your exams. February half term in year 13, you're going to be really, really stressed and revising for your exams. And while you've probably got end of year exams coming up in April and May, you don't have the massive, massive pressure of exams that determine whether you get into something. Um, it's actually a really nice half term for you. Um, enjoy it. But it does not mean that you can completely relax and do absolutely nothing. The way that revision works, the way that your brain works is little and often is the best way for you to revise. So even if you do half an hour a day, an hour a day, two hours a day, however much revision you feel you can fit in, it will make your life easier in year 13. I can guarantee that. Um, I can guarantee that because there's no way of you doing the control experiment and proving you wrong. Um, but even half an hour of day of revision will make your life easier in year 13. It might not make it like massively easier, notably easier, but by the time we get to year 13, every little helps. And I'm talking about stuff like, you know, doing some multiple choice questions. Um, I've written loads of these for you up over my website. We've got um, biology, chemistry and maths up there for you. Just easy, nice, easy way for you to revise. Not easy questions, because we need challenging questions, but an easy way for you to revise. So you don't have to put a lot of effort in, you don't have to put a lot of time into making resources or finding resources or creating resources because that's that's my job. I do that bit to make your life easier. But if you can do things like uh, multiple choice questions, if you can do things like making flashcards, that is a brilliant thing that you can do. And you don't have to make physical paper flashcards, you can do it on Quizlet. Or you can go and do it on your Instagram stories and then save them as a highlight and then they're always going to be there for you to flick through and they're going to be there for other people to flick through. Um, that is like a brilliant thing that you can spend time now doing that will make your life easier in year 13. And then once you've got those flashcards made, once you've got the, the multiple choice questions ready, you can actually just have that on your phone and when you're waiting for the bus or when you've got to go and pick your little brother or sister up from whatever club they're doing or drop them off at you know this after school club or breakfast club, um, then you can actually just get your phone out and do a quick five, 10 minutes of revision. And all of those little five, 10 minutes of revision that you do between now and at the end of year 13 really really will have a big impact it's all about trying to get the knowledge in there trying to like secure the knowledge so that in the exam you don't have to work stuff out um for example uh i'm gonna take a math example because it's it's a nice easy one but you could be easily be like um quotes or vocab or dates of stuff if you can do long division in your head if you've done kind of like if you know all of your times tables if you know all of your square numbers if you know your accurate numbers twig 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 trig if they're in there and they're stuff for you to remember that is going to be a lot quicker than working it out so instead of you know working out your long division which might only take 30 seconds which might only take a minute if you just know what the answer is like that well that that's actually just a lot quicker and saves you time in the exam. Now saving that 30 seconds might not seem like it's a, it's a lot of time that you save but repeatedly 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 all of that time is going to add up and knowing stuff as opposed to working stuff out is easier and less stressful. So the easier and the less stressful we can make your exams well the better. Um, so yeah, this is a lovely holiday um, guys, uh, really enjoy it. Um, you can start thinking about UCAS applications because that will be coming up very very soon. Um, lots of universities are going to have open days at the moment, they're going to be aimed at the year 13s who have applied but there's literally no reason why you guys can't go along over half term 
you know get a few of you together go on a day trip to whatever town you're interested in and just go and see if you enjoyed the town would it be a nice place to live for three or four years pick up a book and do some reading outside your subject if you are interested in doing a chemistry degree you will not get a course on a good play a place a course a co place on a good course if all you know is a level chemistry you have to start thinking outside the box doing independent research um, you have to show that you've gone above and beyond what your teacher has told you so reading books is a brilliant way to do this and I'll put a list in the description down below of just good books that you can go and read for each different subject so this doesn't have to be a half term we do loads and loads of work um, but it is a half term that you can put to good use by preparing things that will make your life easier next year so by kind of like you know doing lots and lots of recalls multiple choice questions making yourself some flashcards or kind of like getting things in place getting things prepared for when people start talking about UCAS in June so um have fun guys Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.